Hello, Mac Warriors. How is it going? And welcome to another episode of Mac Warrior 5 Mercenaries. Guys, we have the Carapaz, we have the Hero King Crab, and we're gonna make this guy good today. I wanna build that, and then we're gonna dive into the battle, right? So, without any further ado, I would say we're just gonna go ahead and take a look at the star map to see where the nearest industrial hub might be. Chow City. Ooh, we could go to Calf. Calf has a Hero Mac on the market. I kind of want to go there. I also want to check these rare equipment and rare weapons out. Hmm. But I think the hero mech has priority. Maybe we find something interesting there that helps us out even further. Also, you guys were asking for the late game melee mechs and I have not forgotten about it, but I not didn't really find any. So what we will be doing today is we will fit our... Ooh. Interesting. Uh, we will fit our King Crab and then uh, we scoot around in the high tonnage sections to get something good, right? This is Misery. Misery comes with a bunch of energy hard points as well as one Gauss rifle. If we press the Q button, we can see the internal loadout. Uh, it has single heat sinks though. <laughs> what kind of engine are you running? It doesn't say, right? No. I would, I would like to know if that Stalker might be better than what I have. But uh, no, it's an 85 toner. It will never be better, right? This Banshee is actually quite good. Um, Assault lower arm. Wait, it doesn't even have hands? Really? Lame. All right. That's one of the better Banshees, I would say. There's an Atlas. All right. Okay, so are we buying an Atlas? I think the answer is always yes, right? Oh, the answer is always yes. Do I want the RS, though? I would say it's one of the... ...worst atlases that we could potentially play. It only has a medium ballistic, it has two large energy hard points, and then a small and um, large missile hard point. It's really weird. It's kind of hard to make something out of this. Something that is more streamlined. It's like a mid-ranger, right? A mid-range atlas. I want a close-range atlas. I want to fit this out with, I don't know, maybe even some some axes and knuckles or whatever we can put in his hands. All right, I'm going to purchase it anyway. Okay, so that being said, what do we drop? We have to drop something. I think it is time to get rid of the Warhammer. That's not a good mech anymore. So we'll go to the mech market. Do I buy the RS or do I wait for maybe something better? There will be more atlases. I don't want the RS. That's the thing. I just don't want it. It's not good. It is okay. It is an atlas, but it is not good. So we will wait. We will actually wait. Instead, we will focus on what we have. Like a Battlemaster, a Victor. I cannot believe that this guy only got one crit on the double heatsink. I mean, look at its status. Look at the paper doll here. It is insane how it survived. Cue that up. We have another stalker now. We can build another one, but you know what? I think it's fine if we just build one stalker and probably get an atlas plus the king crab plus the corsair and then we are good to go but now that we have that king crab we probably want to run that in order to run it we got to find some items also drop the rifleman we don't need it anymore still want to play the victor and yes i know we lost the ultra auto cannons which is a shame but we have some other things that we can use and those are the ones that i just took out of the rifleman and those are two auto cannon five. Burst fire? No, just two auto cannon. Oh, there they are. Uh, two auto cannon five burst fire tier four. Still pretty good. At the same time, I believe. Wait a second. We can maybe go for auto cannon tens on this guy. We don't need that many heat sinks. In fact, I don't think we need any. Two auto cannon tens. We need like three tons of ammo. Man, it, these need to be LB10s, I would say. So yeah, we quickly revert that. I really do believe we need the, the fives here. That's all right. And yes, I could mix them, but that wouldn't make too much sense, I would say. So we're gonna take those. We're gonna click the repair all button. There is nothing else we need to put in the mech other than ammunition. Let's bring five tons. Uh, put him in a side also, I would say. But then what? See, again, we don't need more cooling. We would possibly be 
good with upgrading our LRMs. But we don't have any better ones. There might be something on the market here. But no, there's nothing. Yeah, Ultra Auto Cannon 5 tier 3, you say? That's a yoink. Let me quickly check equipment. Um... Uh, thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Um, I will actually revert this, bring back the ultra ammo. I'm sorry, guys. It's a, it's a bit back and forth. Let me get that back. Ultra auto cannon 5 ammo. We had like five tons. Something like that. I guess so. Okay, we're going to start building here. Bam. Not half. This one. So, um, I'll, I'll be coming back to that. As soon as we have built this guy, we're gonna start by repairing everything. And as you can see, it has it has four and a half tons of ammo for four Ultra Auto Cannon 5s. I don't think it's good enough. So, we will give it a little bit more. Also, these LRMs are not necessarily needed. In terms of armor, this make is already pretty good, except for the head component. Uh, so we're gonna max that, and then we're gonna bring back... Ah! Uh, we can drop lots of leg armor here. Maybe to 75, so we have 50.5. Now, we just bought two Ultra Auto Cannon 5s tier 3, and we have two tier 4. So I think this is gonna be our setup, alright? I think that makes the most sense. The rest of the mech is, I would say, just cooling and ammunition. This guy will run hot, by the way. So we're gonna grant it some doubles. There we go. Um, now, I think I need more ammunition. And I think I want, like, two tons for each autocannon. That would, ooh, that would get us to eight. Let's put seven and a half in here, so we are on an even number. What is the rest of the mech? Like, what are we doing here? The large missile hardpoints. We could put, like, a single LRM in there. And a ton of ammo. I really wonder if I need more cooling. I really do wonder. Let's put some short-range missiles in the mech. Just to have something that we can shoot at close range. Whenever needed. Two SRM4. One ton of ammo per. I don't like it, but I'm gonna put it in the center so I can put two more double heat sinks in the mech. Alright. Actually, uh, one can go to the head component. And actually, I think it is better to put one and a half tons of ammo for these two SRM4s. This should be way enough because we will probably never really get into a close quarter scenario. And this is more about the ultras, so this half ton can be upgraded to a full ton. So we do the mech math, and we have 130 days until this guy is ready. And we also want to upgrade it directly. It has eight slots, which is insanely good. And it needs armor. It definitely needs armor, and even more armor. And then we're gonna go all the way ballistic. Ballistic range, ballistic velocity, ballistic cooldown. I don't know, damage is important. Weapon range and velocity. Hmm. I think I'm gonna take... Uh, what am I taking? Weapon damage. There we go. I just want to get as much damage out as possible. Um, the quickest time. Ballistic heat, 5%. Mm, do we care about heat? I do believe we are fine in terms of heat management. What this king crab, by the way, could need is uh, turn speed. Um, because it is not the fastest... Uh, torso twist speed, by the way. Torso twist speed. It has no low arm actuator, so you cannot really aim to the side. You are completely bound to your torso speed. But we will check that out later. Another 4 million seabills gone, but I'm very much willing to invest here. And then there's the question of the other stalker, but you know what? We've seen an atlas, and I do believe we want to play it... Probably like this. The victor may be replaced with an atlas. Alright, guys. All of these guys are here. Now we go to Keat or Kate or whatever that name is. Spend some time in space. That's important. And I want to see what we can pick up on this planet. 
It would be so nice to find more ultra auto cannons. I really love them. Or LBXs. LBXs are also pretty good. So let's see what we can do. A mask and a katana. So, we are pretty inward in terms of the inner sphere location, which means we should probably find interesting things here. Like another atlas. The game really wants me to pick up an atlas, huh? Alright, I don't want to right now. Uh, there's an assault katana. Sure. Not really taking it. LB10X. Tier 4. But not solid. It's not solid. It's the splash weapon. Is this a thing that I want to pick up? The question there. We are supposed to pick some LRMs, seemingly. Alright, we'll check this out in a second. SRM2, Artemis, another Ultra 5, Tier 2. I'll buy those. Um, there's a mask, of course. We have LBX ammo. And we have Ultra ammo. So, the question is, how many LRMs do we need? Three Tier 4. And, you know what? Just to finish the Cantina mission, I am going to buy this, although it is very expensive. So we can turn them in and get an SRM6 Artemis Tier 5. As well as a bunch of sea builds. Pilots look actually quite good. Meet you in the ready room. This guy is almost almost maxed. But I think at this point of the game we just look for the tier 60 pilots, right? We should. So, nothing else to do here anymore. But I want to actually get the Victor up and running again. So how do we do this? We need some time. Timeline. Battlemaster, Corsair, Victor. 18 days, sure. Gonna wait for the next event. Next event. And next event. And then we can actually go for the Victor's rebuild. Now that we got some better ballistics, I'm gonna definitely gonna put them on the mech again. There's one tier 3, one tier 2, and we are a ton over. Alright. Start the work. Victor's ready again. Hell yeah. And I would say... We will take one more look at another planet, Bryant, because I want to see if we can find some goodies down here. And then we're gonna seek some trouble with our new mech. And yes, we will wait the full 120 or whatever days until we get there, because I just want to play it today. I just want to not waste any more time. We are now in the end game where we just want to have some fun. So let's see what we can find here. Atlas D, all right. Atlas D. You're also saying Atlas P, as in pirate. It's missing a missile hard point. But it has a battle axe? I think I want to play this. Yo, guys, we're going to play the pirate Atlas. Let's go. We can buy three Atlases here, by the way. There's also a Black Knight 7L. Not really interested in that. And then there's a Rifleman. So, guys, we have to play the Pirate Atlas, right? It doesn't have a supercharger or anything, sadly. Let's go. Let's purchase it. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to buy both. Purchase the other Atlas as well, because we can. So, that means we will get rid of the Stalker for 1.9 million. And we're going to fit our Atlas with an... With a freaking battle axe with 80 damage attached to it. 80. Holy hell, guys. We're gonna have some fun today. Okay, so what we need is... Um... Wait. It is in perfect condition, right? It looks that way. Hell yeah. I want to keep those mediums, that's for sure. Honestly, the build is fine as is. We just need to upgrade it the best we can. So, first of all, we will drop these singles, and we're gonna get some doubles in there. Then, uh, I don't need... I don't know. How much do I need? Click the max armor button real quick. Drop the leg armor, so that we have the full turn available. 75 is good enough. Alright. So, AC-20 ammo goes here. I could also go for an AC-10, or more mid-range. Right now, the only real mid-range that we have is an LRM. Make it good. Make it the biggest we have. 15, tier 5. Don't we have a 20? I thought we had a 20, tier 5. 20, stream, Artemis. No, I do believe it's a 15. There we go. That 20 is gonna be... 
20 burst fire? I think so. Let's get the burst fire out there. It gets a lot of DPS on the battlefield. So, we have two tons of ammo for that, which might be a little bit low, but we'll see about that. I would say one and a half ton here, and then another half ton of AC-20 ammo. Okay. AC-20 half goes here. Now, since we have that battle axe, do we just use that battle axe, or do we also put something on the other arm? Assault katana. I can hold a katana as well. I mean, I mean... No, it's the other arm. Ah, yes, of course, of course, it would be viable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, makes... Yeah, makes no sense. But it's a tier 2. So 6 tons, 57 damage. 7 tons, 80 damage. Max range, 20 meters. It even has more range. Ugh. We need to find... Oh, we need to find the sold uh, melee weapons now. I really want to make this guy good. I think I will actually take the katana. Because it's just a better weapon. It also saves some of the weight. Medium lasers. We need some, I would say. Mm-hmm. So... Which are the best one we have? Tier 4. Yes. The rest of the mech is cooling. But how much cooling do we even need? We have two doubles, one single in the face. Would this be a 20? I think it needs to be like a 20 with uh, tier 5 rating. Just realized that we have a lot of, um, lot of weight left. Now that we have built the katana in the mech. 25 damage, 30 damage. It also has Artemis, which is nice. It's a better clustering. Make it a 20 Artemis. Let's put Artemis ammo in the mech. And this is where we put two tons in the mech. So we make this a full ton ammo and the rest is now cooling. We got two doubles and another single. I don't know if that's gonna be a good mech, but I wanna try it. Start the work. Here we go, 60 days. We will also, right now, upgrade this guy. All right, six slots. I need like armor. I need, hmm, energy damage, cooldown, weapon range, and velocity. Does the weapon range also apply to, to the katana? I don't know. I like the range, though. Like, overall, weapon range seems good. Energy range, ballistic range seems good. Ballistic heat, heat capacity, heat dissipation. We're gonna take the dissipation with us. As well as torso twist, acceleration, deceleration. We kind of need mobility on this guy. But this is not really helping. So, one open slot. What are we taking? Heat capacity? Sure. Don't want to overheat with this guy. Alrighty then. Start the work. That is Atlas number one. Wait, that was the other Atlas. That was the D variant. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. Upgrade here. It has seven upgrade slots. Armor. Ballistic range velocity. And... the Weapon range velocity. Du -du -du -du. Another ballistic range and velocity? I don't know. Let's get some... Let's get some heat dissipation going. I think this is it. Alrighty then. So, Atlas D, this guy will be our secondary brawler, I would say. So what we're gonna be doing now is, ooh, cooling, huh? 20 is gonna go. This is gonna go. Okay, and we're gonna start maxing the armor and then go back to 75 here as well. So, now, ammo goes to the legs. Um, I think I want to make this an LRM double 10 build. So we have some support fire, and this is built around also an AC-20. But we don't have another burst, so not a good one. We're gonna take this as the pinpoint weapon. We can put the 15 on the mech. And a 10. Sure, why not? That seems good. So... Two tons of ammo for the 20. 
What kind of medium lasers do we give him? That's it. So it's definitely gonna be a, one of the shootier max. 20 for the brawls, medium laser for the brawls, and then something to shoot while we are closing in. I think that's it. But we are a little low on ammo. I think another turn of LRM. Definitely. Another turn of 20, and the rest is cooling. It's not a lot of cooling. But I have the feeling it has to suffice. All right. Let's play it like that. I don't know if that's good enough, but hey, we just upgraded it big time. Guys, we have now two Atlases, a King Crab, a Corsair, the, the Victor, the Stalker, everybody's here. Let's go. I'm really eager to see where we are going with this. Quick check here. Any good weapon. Two LRM-10 Artemis, not bad. Small laser, sure. SRM-6 Artemis. LP-10 ammo, fine. We've checked the mech market already. Barracks tell me... Uh-huh, mm -hmm. there are some interesting people. But hey, let's go to star map and see where we can seek some trouble. So, this is a tier 15. This is everything is tier 15 here. Beautiful. Let's go to Graham. Objective raid, objective raid. I think I want to play... Honestly, I think I want to play the assassination mission first. And it's okay if we scoot around a bit because we need to elapse some time anyway. Since... We have two big boys, actually three big boys coming up. So many things to test today. First of all, we're gonna go with the Carapace. And then I think I'm gonna swap in the Pirate Atlas later. So. Warzone as well. Ooh, with the Warzone we have some long range to test. Let's get all the salvage. Confirm. Okay, so how do we start? Doesn't tell me how long this guy needs repairs, correct? Uh. Uh, 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 uh. Who do we take? This Atlas? 107 days, so we have two Atlases. I think I want to start with this kind of loadout first. Okay, Carapace is coming later. So, why am I doing this? Because this is an assassination mission where it's rather tight, where we are going to a base and destroy things there, and as a result we can really make use of our hatchet and, and the auto cannon and so on. And the war zone we will play with the long range, which is the carapace. Good hunting, everyone. Okay. Quick weapon group setup. How do we play this? I really feel like we we have to go. I think we have to go north from here, take the base in the middle in the center of the map, then take the complex up to the top right, and then go south again. It's a very weird setup. Ooh, everything is right sided. Forgot about that. That's pretty good. Means the auto cannon is going on the weapon group number one. All right. Hmm. Actually, this is closer now, so it would be more efficient going up here instead of there. Yeah. And yet again, we have an LRM twenty Artemis now. Want to see what that thing can do? No patrols so far. Hello. Okay. Nice sounds. I like it. There we go. There we go. What's that? I cannot see it, so we're gonna keep going. My friends are gonna do this. I need to learn the weapon groups of this guy, so when I'm doing weird stuff on the battlefield here, then bear with me. This is a new mech for me. Missiles! This is pretty good. Okay. Great. So, there's a lot of stuff happening here. And... 
<laughs> I cannot get a turret because I have... Yeah, that. King Crab! Hey, dude, you want to fight? I want to brawl you. This auto cannon burst fire, man. Maybe we can get his head, but you can see my Atlas is so slow. Getting into our optimal fighting range is a struggle. We will probably destroy it before we can get where we want to be. I guess that works. <laughs> it is an Atlas after all. It's highly inaccurate at range. Also, I think night vision is the way to go here. Katana Atlas, man. Katana Atlas. So, let's get up here. Go through the canyon. Go north. Get to the base. And then crush everybody. I really feel that, like, firing weapons is better than crushing enemies with the katana. But let's see. Maybe I'm getting surprised when we find better weapons. What's wrong, guys? Coming? Oh, come on, it's not that hard. Uh, I know you got a tank there, but just get it over with. I'm continuing. Let's go. I need to learn this weapon, by the way. Ooh, and there's a patrol. Pitch angle, man. The pitch angle. It's kind of weird. Katana. Friends, follow. I don't want you to attack this stupid tank. I can turn around and take it out if needed. I need you in the fight. Oh, there's an enemy. Hello. Oh, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You did it. Ah. That wasn't enough. Put that down real quick. Ooh, Atlas, fight me, bro. Ah, uh, he's gonna go down. He's gonna so go down. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Getting into range is the big struggle. I really want to like it, but we need a supercharger or a mask or anything to make ourselves fast. Or enemy light mechs coming at us. And we just need to hit them. Speaking of light mechs. Hello, Irby. Yeah, I need to take cover. I just realized. I'm taking too much damage doing all of this. Oh, hello. Where are my friends? My friends are not existent. Come on, 20 meters. Now. Ah! Wasn't even that great. Wasn't even that great. So. My mech is in a pretty bad condition. I think I'm gonna swap now. We'll take the other Atlas and command it. Okay. Let's go. Uh, where are we supposed to go, by the way? Oh, the other way around. All right. Come on. I wanna move. So, this is the base, this is where we're supposed to go, and I mean, the frontline Atlas actually performed as a frontliner. It soaked up all the damage. All of it. Hello, Atlas. I got a 20. Probably have one as well. And that should be the end of it. Yeah, great. LRM 10. Probably should get that, but I think the Victor is on its way already. Perfect. Yeah, miss. I'm gonna leave it to the Victor to clear this up. New target, 
Javelon. A tonk. Still didn't get him? Got him. Alright, Atlas buddy, don't go too far. Weapons free. Let's go. Man, this is so structured. Uh, what is your battle plan, buddy? Don't get in front of me. I know you're eager to get into the fight, but... Headshot! No, never mind. Yeah, it's kind of important that we attract fire. I should have stayed a bit away so I could also shoot my LRM. Okay. That worked. Uh, like this? No. Not like this. What are you? Go away. Got it. And the javelin. I think... Yeah. What was that, guys? What Was that a great show of force? Not entirely sure. I am not entirely sure, guys. AC-20s are fine and fun, but... If we don't get our, our hatchet or uh, katana in, this katana is useless. It's a lot of weight for basically nothing. I like my Corsair the most. I just like it because it has unlimited range, I mean almost, and it just takes enemies down before they can shoot back. This here is accepting fire to get to the front line until we can then burst them down. And that makes it so much more difficult. I really want to like melee, but if you don't have the evasion, if you don't have the shielding, if you don't have a fast mech to get there quickly to soak up less damage, just get your mechs destroyed. We'll take another Atlas nonetheless. And anything we need to pick up? That is a big no. So we'll pick... I don't know. Another LRM-5. Doesn't matter. I mean, eventually I want to get to the Steiner Scout lands. We have to. We have to just get the four atlases, right? Anyway, the other contract is up. And this time I want to play the Carapace. I want to play the King Crab. Let's get to the war zone and get all the salvage. Hell yeah. And we will confirm. And this time it's going to be King Crab time. Where's that thing? Where's the beauty? There we go. So. Um. Yeah, you know what? I like the Atlas because it has some long range. I think this is it. We're gonna take the D variant here. But we also take the Victor. I don't think so. I think uh, having the Corsair on the battlefield makes a lot of sense. And then the Stalker has some fire support. Let's see how good the Carapace actually is. Oh boy. It might be that we are swapping out later. Uh, yeah, wait, please, thank you. So if this guy doesn't perform as good as I think it is going to, then I will go for my Corsair and have some fun headshotting again. Or trying at the very least. Honestly, if somebody was ask me what my favorite assault mech would be, I would probably say either Marauder 2 or King Crab. Because they are 100 tonners, they are chicken walkers, they have these like low slung arms. They just look great and they are they are sexy as hell. Let's go. Ooh, we can actually test this already. Hi. Can I get through here? Yeah, I can. Good. Just crushing through the walls to get to my enemies. Uh, we have a pretty damaged charger who is getting completely obliterated. What was it that they were fighting? It seems to be able to deal with a charger. Centurion. Oh, you don't like this here. I can tell you. Oh, we melted him. We completely melted him. Same for the panther. Your presence, 
Commander. Holy crap! I'm Holy king crap! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. There is a, a thing behind us. Let's go for the dropship. Let's go over here. Follow me, friends. To glory and victory. Oh, but the twist rate, the, the torso twist rate is atrocious. It's not really good for brawling. This guy needs to uh, have a rather big angle on our enemies from far away. On the hawk. We are not really running that hot, so we can totally change the build for... I don't know. More ammo. I think more ammo is needed. We are pumping out so many bullets so fast. We are jammed. But the music continues shortly. I guess we got him. Alright, next! Please! Give me a real opponent. Yeah, man, cooling is not an issue. I know that we are on a cold planet, but still, I think this is fine. We need to change the build a bit. No? It's like a shotgun. Look at the pattern, it's insane. Got that. Got that. Is that a joke? Oh, there's another dropship. Guys, stay here with me. We want to wait for them to come. There's no need for rushing anything. They just bring some medium mechs so far. Alright. I should sit more upright. I have that problem that I'm slouching all the time. It's not good for my back. Stay with me. Stay with me. So this is all about just bursting them down instead of um, getting precise shots to a single component. Travis next is an easier target than the Wolverine. Ow. I mean, I'm taking a good chunk of damage. Because I'm putting so much hurt out to them. Hmm. Alright. Can you take the party, son? I want to stay on my commander still. Man, we need more armor on this guy. Come on, guys. You got LRMs. He was the... Um, he is in range. Really? No lock? I can see him. Got him? Please tell me you got him. Follow me. So, flyers in the sky. There we go, we got that. And now it's time to take a look around here and see what's coming around the corner. It is a hunchbot. Um, quick kill of the harasser. And then go for the hunchbot. Oh, actually, it is a centurion. Just stay on center to also and obliterate. Just lock onto it. But that's the problem of this build. It faces the enemy. It is a lot of face time. As a result, our center torso is getting struck a lot. Like a lot. My center is almost open and we are halfway through the mission, so... That is a problem. Get the awesome. That's what I expected. It's another Lance of Flyers. No. There we go. Okay. Commando. Another commando. What about the awesome? Did we get him already? Doesn't look like it. Nope. It doesn't look like it. Ooh, they're actually swarming now. Awesome is not in my line of sight, so I'm gonna defend myself against the light mix. Let's see what we can do here. I think we can do a lot. Alright, one down. The other ones are coming up the hill here. Uh, <laughs> uh, almost got him. 
Where is he? There we go. Another one bites the dust, and then... Oh, no, 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 no. Stay on the awesome. Stay on the awesome. Can I hit it from here? No, I cannot. He has a Warhammer. And we are jammed. We're gonna go back real quick. I don't want to get hit by his PPCs. There we go. So, Commando coming up the hill. And down he goes. 22 out of 22. We didn't go critical. We made it. We did the job. Let's get out of here. So, good test run. Yet again, no heat problems whatsoever. So, we don't really have to worry about that. Can change the build slightly. We want to play this? I think we want. Let's see what they bring. Maybe we can get some goodies here. Okay, level this for better view. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright. Thing is, I need to stay in motion and get down behind the wall because there's also a hammer that really wants me down. Right? Hey, hammer. Yeah, I'm out of here. I need to take cover. Okay. Friends, can you do a thing? Hammer is not on me. So I'm gonna go for him. Yeah, let's go. Stop protecting him, Charger. Hammer is down. Alright. And my right side also is not critical. That's not a thing I want. We're gonna get out of here. Good. Manticore. Whoop. Nope. Never mind. There's a hill. We will run now. The Thunderbolt seems to be destroyed as well, so we don't have anything to fight anymore. Let's go. So I would say technically we are looking for just better weapons at this point, right? We have all the mechs that we need, or are there any that are interesting still? I don't know. Probably should go to skirmish mode or instant action mode and see what mechs are in the game that I probably want to hunt. There's still the Slapnir, the Cyclops Hero, that is an amazing mech to take, but I don't know. Can We can go for hero mechs, probably. So, good mission. We'll take some money with us, as well as a... Shadowhawk? He comes with tier 4 weapons, yeah, but... I don't want them. Also tier 4. It's pretty nice to see that they bring the goodies now. Nothing that we are supposed to pick up? No double heat sinks. I would say we go with the value here and just get a mech or two. So which one are the best? Probably this. And then uh, this. And then this. Alright. Let's go. We dealt 2300 damage in such a short mission. We killed basically everything except for 7 units on the battlefield. That is so insane, man. This is why I love this mech, guys. I cannot deny it. It is one of my absolute favorites. Next to the Corsair, which actually got headshot. Ooh. Scary. But hey. The Atlas performed quite okay as well. Everybody actually did their job. So, Hawk goes to storage. Trap goes to storage. And when we take a look at this, I should probably clean that out and get some money. And with the money, we're gonna upgrade like crazy. But you know what? That is a story for the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you want more of this. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.